snack, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello kids, welcome to our Children's Children Church, Church Show. Show! How are you kids? I pray that you are all doing well. Ikaw kuya Al, how are you today? I am very energetic and excited for today. Teacher Leah, how about you? I am very excited too kuya Al because today we will learn about a parable that comes from the book of Matthew which is in the Bible. You are right! But before that, just a quick review of our last week episode. We have learned how to love others like Jesus. Correct! So before we jump into our parable for today, let us start by praising and worshiping our God. Let's all stand up and sing praises to Him. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say
praising and worshiping our God is so fun. Right, kids? Yes! As Teacher Leah mentioned earlier, our story for today is about the parable in the book of Matthew, which is the parable of the talents. So to share our word for today, let us all clap our hands for Chaplain Josh. Good day, everyone. For today's word, we will be reading about the parable of the talents, which is found in the book of Matthew in the New Testament. For us to know what happened in the parable, here's a short skit prepared by our children. A master is preparing to go on a long trip. But before he travels, he calls upon his servants and gives instructions on what they should do while he is gone. The master delegated his wealth to his servants according to their ability. A servant was given five talents, the other one received two talents, and the last one got one talent. The first servant who got five talents quickly went to work and used the wealth he was given to make more money. He was glad to be able to multiply the wealth his master had entrusted him. The second servant who received two talents also went out and invested to make more money. The servant was pleased and he was able to double the amount of wealth he was entrusted with. However, the third servant got one talent. It might be less than the others but it was still a good amount of wealth. But the third servant failed to see the good opportunity and the value of what his master has entrusted him. As the servant feared and risked, he just buried the one talent he was trusted in the ground. After his long journey, the master finally returned. He immediately called his servants to hear what they have done to the talents he had entrusted them. Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. Master, you have delivered to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you have been faithful with a few things, I will now entrust you with many things. Let us celebrate! However, when the third servant said his report, the master seemed not very well pleased. Master, you are a hard man to please. I was afraid, which is why I buried your talent to the ground. Here is one talent that belongs to you. You wicked and lazy servant! Gave, I gave you an amount or talent I knew you'd be able to manage. But you did nothing with it. At least you could have placed it in the bank for it to earn a small amount for interest. And because of that, you will lose your talent to the one who gained five. After getting back the third servant's only talent, he cast him out of his household forever. The parable today teaches us how to be good and faithful servants. God has given us talents and abilities that we can further improve for His glory. Also, being faithful is a test of our character and how we react to certain situations. In this parable, the third servant is not faithful to his master because he was declared wicked and lazy by his master. He was not able to take good care of his talents. His master had entrusted him. Kaya kids, let us always remember to be good and faithful servants. Kasi, when the two servants were able to multiply and took good care of the talents their master had entrusted them, they were given many more talents and their master was pleased with them and even celebrated with them. Laging tandaan, ang batang tapat ay laging angat. God bless you and praise the Lord. 
Oh, thank you, Lord. It is really important to be a good and faithful servant. That's right, Teacher Leah. If we are good and faithful servants, must be blessed by the Holy Lord of greater things, just like the two servants who had increased the talents their master had entrusted them. Yes, and with that, it's reflection, reflection time. time. Gusto din namin malaman kung ano ang inyong natutunan sa lesson for today. Yes, so before we end today's episode, here's a video of what the children have learned about our lesson for today. Father God, thank you for the lesson you have taught us today and for always protecting us. Please continue to bless and guide us more each day. We love you, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Kaya mga kids, always remember today's lesson, ang batang tapat ay laging angat. That is right. We will see you next Sunday for more lessons and stories. God, God bless and, and goodbye. goodbye.